my pleasure to introduce Noelle Cocott tonight. I want to thank Melbourne Books, and I want to thank the New Writers Project and the Department of English um, for the support that makes this evening's reading possible. And thanks all of you for coming. Mm. <laughs> Remember those Viewmaster cameras loaded with slide studded wheels, early virtual reality? You peered through, clicked down, and a complete scene slid into place, and suddenly you're standing in it, and it's flat and three-dimensional both, and no matter what, it's lush and encompassing and strange. Whether in a few spare lines, an elegant cascade of couplets, or a contemporary take on the sonnet, unfailingly, this is what Noelle Cocotte's new poems do. Invent, envelop, reflect, convince. In them, the recognizable world is revealed as fantastically infused through the weird data of the senses, through the intersecting currents of memory, association, and imagination we swim among, a place where our inner and outer realities intermingle as they always truly do, but as we too often fail to see. Seeing is paramount here, the way words stare into and out of resonances, charged up, potent, each a source of reverberation or echo chamber. Lodged between Delphic and Diaristic, between Tang Dynasty and Hopkins and punk rock, in these poems mystery is voiced, not tricky or coded, but as strangeness and beauty and mortality, no longer held at bay, but all around us rising. Filled with wreckage and rebirth, Cocotte's poems quickly teach us to turn to them in, with, and for wonder to be located and to be lost, to be reunited in a state where the so-called sacred and the so-called profane so clearly are one, where the blood flows just like blood. Please welcome Noel Coca. Thank you, um, Lisa Olstein, and thank you, uh, University of Texas, for inviting me and everybody, and Dean Young, and just everybody, and I hope you enjoy this reading. It's going to go on for 40 minutes, so that's going to be a long time. <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. And um, anyway, if I have the stamina for it, you have the stamina for it. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with this poem called Poem. With deepest reverence, I shop for bones. And what is the candy and the daylight and the horse without hunger. Too many ducks for us to think of. And here we are punishing the lines around our faces. Enormity is a hoof with unanswerable sounds. And the void is filled with fire. My dream is to fall apart, to cry for a century. But I have not cried, not at all. I keep my distance like the tines of a fork from one another, dressing, undressing the fabulous wounds. But now, back to our story. It has coffee in it, a naked river. Blessed are we who rapture an electric wire. Blessed be the falling things about our faces. Blessed is the socket of an eye that lights the body. Because in the end, in the very end, it's just you, you and you, and you. <laughs> 